So this is scary. <laughs> I really love the Honda Monkey 125 and I've been wanting to ride this thing again for a long time and another shop, Lakes Honda in Rotorua, reached out to me and said come give it a go, they've got a demo, so here I am, Honda Monkey 125, proper review. Well this feels familiar, 179 kilometers on the clock and this is well, I guess it's going to be a 2021 Honda Monkey 125, but in reality, it's actually not probably built in the last year or so. It's probably an old 2018 or 2019 production model. I'm pretty sure they slammed a massive amount out then. I could be wrong, though. Well, I'm already 100% convinced about the awesomeness of this motorcycle. It is now up to me to impress you and see, is it worth the money that it's retailing for in New Zealand or in your country? And this is the perfect environment for the Honda Monkey 125. It's exactly what it's meant for. I'm in fourth gear, just cruising along at 55 kilometers per hour down the main street. Probably a bit too fast, to be honest. But it's a wicked, capable little machine. And if you need a little commuter bike, well, this one does the job, that's for sure. The Honda Monkey 125. So let's look at this thing realistically. What is it? It's a small commuter bike made for the inner city, but you can take it on the open road if you do desire, and it can handle a little bit of off-road. One thing that a lot of people do if they do want to do a bit more extreme adventuring with this thing is upgrade the forks and upgrade the rear suspension. In stock form, they are very uh, bouncy, <laughs> and basically it's actually not the, the, the nice desired effect that you'd probably want when you're riding a bike off-road. That rear sprocket is tiny. It's a tiny little thing, and the front is probably a 14 tooth the rear is a 34 so yeah you got a 34 tooth rear sprocket 12 inch wheels i think they're running a 120 90 12 and then a 130 90 12 on the rear and they're a cool little v rubber dual sport tire and they do the job However, if you are wanting to go off-road again, I'd recommend something like a Shinko Mob or something a bit more aggressive. The tank is pretty cool. It's, I'm not sure how many litres, I'll throw it on the screen now. And the fuel injection and the kind of manual gearbox system works really, really well. It does have ABS on the front brake and the rear brake is just a standard disc, I believe. The engine itself is the 125cc 1 down 3 up 4 speed manual that you may know from the Honda Wave, which uses a different style gearbox. The Grom, which uses the same gearbox box uh, the CT125 which is similar to the Wave also the Super Cup 125 is another one uh, the high front fender does make for some good ground clearance if you are going to take it off-road and same with the rear high fender and uh, you've got LED lighting all around so overall this is a wicked machine and, and it does its job perfectly as you can see here we've just got standard Honda controls you've got your high and low beam switch you've got your horn and you've got your indicators kill switch and electric start on the other side there if we turn on the speedometer this is your startup sequence just goes through a few different displays and then comes up to your primary display which is always there when you're riding showing your fuel level, your f uh, your speed and also your uh, distance. You can hit the select button, the bottom one, to go from trip A through to trip B and I think set is purely just there to reset the trip A and the trip B. Yep, absolutely. One thing it does have which is pretty cool is if we rip those keys out is you've got the set unset button so if we hit set that means it's locked and if we unset cool and then you've also got the answer back feature so you set it when you're stopping and going somewhere it makes a little bit of a noise to try to deter someone from taking it from you if you hit the answer back button you hit that button you're not sure where your bike's parked you, you, you know you're just confused you've been off it for a few hours you can just hit the answer back button and it will let you know where it's hanging about so that's a cool little feature as you can see on this remote here set unset and answer back How does it handle slightly adventurous terrain? It's 100% fine. It doesn't mind it. I don't mind it. But I just want to show what this thing can do and what it, what it is capable of. And yes, I almost slid out just then. <laughs> so maybe these tyres aren't the best <laughs> for off-road. Yeah, see, it fills up the cracks instantly and then you just slide without hesitation. Yep, the back's quite full as well. Hmm, okay. Shinko mobbers would probably do a whole lot better. First gear, we'll just jump in a second so we're not so jerky on the acceleration. And yeah, this is just pick a line and I can handle it. It doesn't feel like it's bottoming out too badly. <laughs> uh, 
yeah it can do a skid <laughs> Woohoo. so yeah can it ride off-road absolutely is it designed for it no not really but it can handle it you probably give this thing a bit of an early death if you did it all the time and that was your primary usage of the bike but yeah if it's the occasional thing you want to do or you're going to jump on a bit of gravel no problem at all the thing can handle it you've just got to be pretty mindful and the good thing is you're quite low to the ground so you can just slam your feet out if you do need to a bit of an odd terrain coming up yep didn't even bottom out happy as and what a view Whoa. I love you New Zealand see if we can capture the old dirt flick yeah there we go the classic classic dirt flick always be a bit careful on these corners after coating your tires in dirt I always treat it the same as getting a brand new set of tires on your bike and this is exactly what this bike is made for in my opinion <laughs> although it's a bit of a contradiction to what I've just said in the video uh, this bike is designed for urban use for sure but for me these little corners uh, with small straights between them where you can't quite get up to 100k an hour anyway is perfect you've got this bike at its limit in second third and fourth gear and it's just a really good time I'm in fourth at the moment I have been for a while and there is no gear position indicator so you do sometimes forget what gear you're in you've just got the neutral light cracked 102 kilometers down this hill proud of you little monkey you're doing so well oh and the views how good I need to focus on the road and how beautiful this is just one little inlet and that's Mount Tarawera up there in the distance but this is about the monkey and how's it handled all this incredibly I can't wait to thrash it uh, around the road that follows this lake urban commuter countryside perfection harmony this is the best thing I've done in a long time I honestly feel like I'm on a roller coaster or something it doesn't matter what I do I feel like this thing's just glued to the road let's do a braking test eh 87 to nothing in a matter of seconds who needs a tourism budget when I'm here this is scary <laughs> Honda Mikey 125 New Zealand Name a better combo Well here we are, me and the Honda Mikey 125 Sitting beside a lake in the beautiful North Island of New Zealand This is Lake Tarawera And the Honda Mikey 125 has brought me here All the way from Rotorua city centre And I've had the best time riding this thing It's got such a nimble short wheelbase It feels like you can just throw it into corners And no matter what trouble you get yourself into It feels like you're always going to be able to get yourself out of it And to be honest, that has been the case today Any situation you come into Maybe too hot into a corner You feel like, oh this is going to No, you just use the brakes and, and you're sorted The ABS is really, really really effective on the front I haven't been able to trip it out and make it not work it's been doing its job every single time and to be honest it hasn't really had to be used uh, the rear disc just adds so much stopping power to this thing uh, if you're used to bikes that have a single disc on the front and a drum on the rear this is just a different world you can lock the rear up if you really try but uh, yeah you have to be doing pretty well to achieve that gearbox on this thing is just so easy to use uh, it feels like you don't even need the clutch but of course you do use it just to uh, be mechanically sympathetic for the engine the fuel range is really 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 impressive with the PGMFI system on a stock Honda 125 engine you can get hundreds of kilometers per tank I really like it I think Honda have done a fantastic job you know when I, this bike first came out I kind of didn't really see the point of it but now I've ridden it two or three times I really do understand it it's almost three years to the month that I first laid my eyes on a Honda Monkey 125 at Cubhouse in Bangkok and ever since then every time I see the reasoning for it I see a few people that have bought it throughout New Zealand uh, and they've had an incredible time riding their bikes both on road and off road this thing is capable for riding around the world for riding to and from work or just going down to the shop to get a couple of things you forgot for tonight's dinner you can do a few things to tickle them up you can modify the suspension upgrade the suspension you can change the exhaust pipe you can change your handlebars you can put different tires on it and there's a lot of things you can do but for me in stock form this bike is more than good enough I've had the most amazing time thanks lakes honda for letting me adventure on this bike i'm going to go thrash these back roads here a couple more times and uh but apart from that that's about it if you haven't ever had the chance to ride a honda monkey 125 and you do get the chance jump on it and you'll know exactly what i mean if you get off without a smile on your face well that's on you not me <laughs> <laughs>
I know I said this was meant to be the end of the video, but <laughs> I can't stop riding it. It's so much fun. I feel like a kid in a candy store. Look, mum, no hands. And it can handle it fine. What a smooth, awesome, perfect, comfortable, well-built little machine. Go buy yourself a Honda Monkey. There we are. Lakes Honda and Rotorua, the place to come if you want a Honda Monkey or anything else Honda. How awesome. Thanks so much guys. The blue looks good doesn't it?